Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'll be giving you a quick tutorial on Markdown. So Markdown, if you don't know what it is, it's a markup language which can be used to write stuff. It's similar to LaTeX and so it's really not that complicated. So I will be showing you just the basics of it. And just quickly before the video starts, I just want to remind you to subscribe for more Java and programming videos as well as just regular tech videos. Subscribing really helps the channel, and if I get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2021, I'll be doing a giveaway, so be sure to subscribe so you can enter into that. Anyway, let's get started. So, if you want to just do plain text, for example, I'll just say my intro, which is hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video. This is just plain text, you don't have to do any special formatting for it, you just type it in, like you would to any other word editor. And if you want to make this a title, you have to put a hashtag in front or a pound sign, whatever you want to call it. And so the, the more hashtags you do, the smaller the title will be. So for the first uh, like primary title, you do a hashtag and you have to do a space between the hashtag and the, the words. And then if I move my cursor away, you can see it makes a huge title. And if I want to do a slightly smaller uh, title, I could do two hashtags and then space. And then I say two. And then if I want to do three, three hashtags, space three. And you can see it gets smaller each time. I add more hashtags or pound symbols, whatever you want to call it. If you want to make part of this bold, you put asterisks. So I'll put two asterisks and then two asterisks here. And that makes welcome bold. You can't see it really well with this theme, but if I change back to the regular one, it should be really visible that this is bold compared to everything else. And I can also make italics by doing one asterisk. So if I put it on each side of this word, I'll make that uh, italic. And if I want to make it italic and bold, then I do three asterisks and I will do the closing three asterisks right here and I should get rid of one of these. So this is italic bold, this is bold, and this is italic. And if you want to do a block quote, you do uh, like a greater than sign or less than sign, and then you do a space, and then here's your quote. And if you want to do a list, like a numbered list, like what you may do in Google Docs. You do a one dot and then space, and it kind of indents it a little bit, and then you can start typing so item one, and then you click enter, and it automatically creates a second one. If you want to do a code, then you use this little kind of sign right here. I don't know what it's actually called, but you use this right here. So this is mainly for like using code in, in line. So let's say I have a uh, to print in Java, you say, and then if I wanted this to be in the same line, not like a block of code, just like a little piece, uh, system dot out dot print line, and then I uh, do the closing little uh, symbol, and it makes that format like code, and and then run and then run it. So that's an example of how you would use that. If you want to do a block of code, then you do three of those symbol, and then you have a big block. You can choose the language as well. You can type in Java, and it'll come up. Or instead of having to choose from there, you can just do the three of that symbol, then Java, and then it will uh, also do the same thing. You can also do plain text if you want it to be the console output. So like one or two, or and this would be like system.out.println or something like that. If you want to do an image, then you do a exclamation mark and then an open bracket, and then you put the label. So you say, uh, you should, I can say image one, and then you do uh, move out of the brackets, do a parentheses, and once you do the parentheses, you get an option to either input a URL or just choose from files. And here I can just choose this image that I have, and it inputs the image of my Raspberry Pi. I think you can also do a link to an image on Google or on the internet as well, but I haven't tried that. And it's also important to know how to do links. So if you want to do a link, for example, Google.com, you would uh, do a bracket say Google, and then close bracket, open parentheses, and then HTTPS google.com. And if I control click on the link, then it will open up in my uh, Chrome tab. But if you just click, normally it won't actually open. You have to do control and then click, and it'll open up the website. And so the, yeah, those are the basics of Markdown. It really is very, very simple. If you just practice for like one hour, you'll probably get it down. And yeah, uh, there are obviously more things you can do if you want to look at the more advanced kind of documentation, I'll put a link to that in the description. And yeah, like I said, I'll be doing a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.